We're all about 3D animation nowadays, and in this video, we're gonna be taking a quick look at isometric animation by using text and shapes. Simply, we'll be taking a title, jump into 3D space, and we'll see some graphics, and then we'll go back to 2D. Hey, what's going on, internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Please drop a like on the video, it helps us out tremendously, and let's head over to After Effects. So we're gonna start off by setting up the scene for 3D and then we're gonna go ahead and create some of these elements that you see here in the composition. So remember, you can download this project file for free if you wanna follow along. Here we are in our tutorial composition. All we have in here is a title and a background. So what we're gonna do once you have a title typed out, we'll go to Edit Duplicate and we'll make sure both these layers are 3D layers. Simply what we're gonna do with the bottom title layer is we're gonna come here to the Swap Fill Stroke icon right here and we're gonna go ahead and swap those. And you'll see that we'll just have a stroke title on that back title there. You can use a stroke with a three or whatever you want to use. But simply all we're going to do is hit PR on keyboard for position and we'll add a keyframe for this. And then we'll move forward here, maybe almost two seconds. And what we're going to do is bring this back in Z space by a little bit, maybe to like 70 Z value. And we'll select both of these keyframes, hit F9 on keyboard to make them easy ease. Then we'll go to the graph editor and we'll select both our keyframes here and we'll bring the handles in all the way to the center. Just assume that all the animation we'll be doing in this tutorial will be exactly like this. So then what we wanna do is make sure that we unsolo this layer and then we have our original text there. So then we're gonna to go to layer, new camera and click okay. So simply all we're gonna do here is hit P and keyboard for position and we'll add a keyframe for this and we'll go right to that last keyframe right there. And then by hitting C on your keyboard, you're gonna get this orbit camera tool. And if you click and you can kind of rotate the scene by a little bit, and I can kind of try to give it, give this a three dimensional look like so. All right, and when you're happy, if your settings, you go ahead and select both of the keyframes, hit F9 on keyboard, and once again, just do that graph editor technique. And if we scroll through this, here's what we'll have. Now we'll have the scene set up for a 3D isometric look. All right, so now that we have this set up in 3D, it's just a matter of creating some extra elements to really make this come to life. So we'll talk about how to create several of these elements and you do what you want with them. So what we're gonna do is kind of maybe just hide everything and we'll grab the pen tool and we'll click a point here and hold down shift and click a point across like this. And what I'm gonna do is control double click the pan behind tool so that anchor point be in the center. And I'll come here to add and I'm gonna add a repeater to this. We'll open this up, go to transform repeater one and I'll set that X position to zero and I'll bring down the Y value. So we'll have a little bit of a gap there and then we can come here to copies, add a keyframe for that, set it to zero and then I'll move forward in time to that last uh, keyframe that we were using. And I'll go ahead and set them for copies up to say eight. So then we'll have this animation like so. So then all we have to do is turn this into a 3D layer and it'll automatically take form of the camera. And then we hit PR and keyboard for position and I can move this around our composition you know, however we see fit. Of course, I can also hit R on my keyboard for rotation and I can rotate this any way that I want in a 3D space. So I can set the Y rotation to 90 degrees and now we'll have this. And we'll grab the keyframes, of course, hit F9, go to the graph editor and do that same exact thing with the keyframes every single time you do this type of animation so we can be consistent. So now we'll have this beautiful. Before we roll on, if you're looking to produce professional work inside of After Effects and Premiere Pro, check out our Motion Graphics Advanced Pack, which has 750 plus templates for all your post-production motion graphic needs. That link will be in the description, and if you pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel, so thank you very much. So let's talk about how we can create some more of these advanced concepts like this shape right here. So what we'll do is create a new composition, and we can call it box or square or whatever. And then we'll go ahead and grab the rectangle tool, make sure fill is set to solid color and maybe set to black. Use a stroke with a five as well. And just draw a circle like this and make sure it's in the center of your composition and control double click the pan behind tool. But then next we'll set this to a 3D layer, of course, hit R and keyboard for rotation. Uh, and we'll set the X rotation to 90 degrees and that's fine. So then what we'll do to follow up with this is we'll go ahead and duplicate this layer, hit PR and keyboard for position, and we can like bring this down. Perfect. And then we'll go to grab the pen tool. This time we'll turn off fill. Perfect. And then straight from the center of our composition, add a point right here, hold down shift and go down to that next square like that. And then make sure there's three layers as well. Hit R and keyboard for rotation, set the Y rotation to 90 degrees. Perfect. So then all we're gonna do is create a null object, go to layer, new null, right? Parent this to the null object. Make sure it's set to a 3D layer and hit P and keyboard for position. Add a keyframe for this. Move it forward to say 116. And then we'll move this outside the composition like so. And then of course do the same exact thing to the keyframes F9 and graph editor them. 
All right, so then we'll go back to our main comp. We'll go ahead and bring in that composition that we created from the project panel, set to 3D layer, set it to continuously rasterize right here. And then we can move it around our composition wherever we see fit. Now, if it's still in the composition, one thing you can do is go back to that other comp and just make sure it's up higher, the Y value here. And then back in our main comp, you know, it'll be off and then it'll just drop right in. Beautiful. So feel free to duplicate some of these elements that we've created already and just move it around your comp. And you can expand upon them as you can see in our main composition that I've added like another one here. So feel free to customize, you know, the elements that we're creating on your own. All right, so I'll briefly show you a couple more elements that we can create. Feel free to skip ahead if you wanna know how to loop this. So we'll grab the ellipse tool here and we'll make sure fill is set to solid, turn off stroke. We'll set this to white color, great. And we're gonna go ahead and just draw a small circle like so. Then if our circle draw it out here, we come here to add, we'll just add a quick repeater to this, open it up, go to transform repeater one and bring down the exposition, increase the number of copies, perfect. And then we can just come here, add a keyframe for copies move that forward to that same exact moment in time and set it down to zero. And then we'll go to add and we'll add another repeater to this. And we'll go here to transform repeater two, uh, set down the exposition zero and bring down the Y. And we can create several copies here, maybe seven or so, maybe a little bit more, it's up to you. And then we have to keyframe this as well. So we'll add a keyframe right there and set it down to zero. So then you can just hit U and keyboard, bring up the keyframes and do the same exact animation. And all you have to do is turn this into a 3D layer and it'll snap right into 3D space. And then of course, move it around your comp, find a place for it uh, and feel free to, you know, duplicate it and move it elsewhere. So you can just obviously hit R and keyboard and you can set the Y rotation to 90 degrees and then you can easily move it around your comp. So it's up to you how you want to organize these elements, but feel free to duplicate them as many times as you like, reuse them, create your own objects and you're gonna have a really cool scene here. So, so far, here's what we have. I'll show you how to create one more element and then after that, feel free to be creative however you see fit. We'll just come here and grab the ellipse tool. Uh, we'll turn on fill, turn on stroke. And we'll draw a perfect circle like so. I'll solo it real quick. And then we'll go ahead and go to add, add trim paths to this layer. We'll open it up and we'll bring down the end to 0%. Add a keyframe for start, move forward and set the start up to 100%. And then we'll have F9 keyboard to make those easy ease. And of course, turn it into a 3D layer. And we'll hit R, set the X rotation to 90 degrees. Beautiful. And then let's go ahead and just position this underneath our title, like so. Beautiful. And then we can duplicate it, scale it down a little bit more. And then we can go to layer, transform, flip horizontal. So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna have this little cool circle animation underneath our title. Feel free to scale those up to make it a little bit larger uh, than what it is. So by spending some time scaling and finding the right positions, you can create some really cool uh, stuff with this. All right, so I have all my elements here and how can I quickly you know, loop this animation to go from forward to back really quick? So what we can do is we take all of our uh, layers here, pre-compose it, go to layer, pre-compose. We can call it all. And all we're gonna do here, <laughs> I said all a lot. We'll right click the layer and we'll go to time and we'll do enable time remapping. And we have our first keyframe right there automatically. So we know that the animation is gonna stop at one second and 16 frames. So we'll add a keyframe for here. We'll go ahead and grab that first keyframe. We'll copy it. Then we'll move forward by one second and 16 frames. I'm kind of just guessing here. And then we can select these, hit F9 keyboard, and make them easy, easy keyframes. So now here's what we'll have. It'll snap into 3D view and go back to regular 2D. So that's a really cool technique. Feel free to copy and paste these keyframes to move on for even longer. Uh, but that's how you can pull off this sort of cool animation right here in 3D space in After Effects. Alrighty, if you wanna get your hands on some free After Effects and Premiere Pro templates, you can check our links below. We have some free packs with our extension. You can download them for absolutely free. You can also hit us up on our Instagram. We have free design and After Effects content on there as well. And always be creative.